Okay, hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about registers uh, in Windows. Today we are going to try uh, to manage those registers with C++. Uh, so basically you need just a, compil uh, a compiler uh, and uh, every everything uh, will be uh, documented in the description. So if you want to, to read the documentation, everything will be uh, ro wrote uh, inside the the description. So basically, first uh, what we are going to do is to create a, a key in our registers. So basically it's this, fun uh, this function uh, uh, there. So I will explain parameters by param parameters after uh, running the Vim with, the, uh, with my file. So basically you need just a IRStream uh, library Windows H to work with the Windows API and the string to have strings in your file. Okay, so uh, first of all, I will declare a void, uh, create key, mm, oh, create key. Mm, I want to take as parameter the path uh, of the of the thing I want to add, string path. Okay, excellent. So basically, first I need to do is declare a long array uh, registers. Here I, I will be able to stock my register, uh, my register response. Uh, H key, uh, H key. Uh, okay. Here I will have the reference to the to the H key which I will have to close so I can start by doing this so it's reg uh, close uh, key and it will be h key okay excellent. Uh, the name here is all capitals h key okay now what I have to do is to stock and uh, pass the arguments for the function. So it's the reg create key uh, xa. The name is strange, but it's not worries. And first, what we need to declare is why it right to select the root um, the root. Uh, uh, f the root uh, file so it's h key class underscore class or underscore u current user something like that so basically it's the it's one of the file of this of this fifa uh, uh, folders so we, we have to precise which one uh all, all i have i i'm only using the h key classes root folder so basically i'm not going to pass it as arguments in my function so i have just to uh, repair the directory. Okay, it's this. Okay, so basically it will be uh, H key classes roots. Oh, I I still doing this mistake on the uh, shift uh, shift uh, delayed. So okay. Uh, next it will be the sub key. So it is my our path, but we have to take it to L. It's w what is the type of this uh, of this key? It will be LP uh, LPC string. Uh, uh, okay, so it's L uh, PC str. We have to cast it. So path C str. Uh, okay. Next, uh, we have to pass. Uh, okay, pointer. The reservation parameter has to be zero, so we write just zero. And the user defines cache key. Okay, uh, we we are not going to precise the type. Uh, yeah. Next, it is the 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 following rules okay so we will go we are going to use this one so it's basically this key is not volatile is the default key uh, 
so it's the it's the, the information uh, to to just rec save keys function to use them and save them. So next will be uh, the the security attributes. So we are going to use the key uh, all access. Okay. And finally, we have three last arguments. Uh, we can store the result, but we don't need it for the moment. So it will be null. Next, we have to pass the reference to the H key, which we are going to close. H key, and finally null. Uh, the last is the return uh, value, but we don't want to store it too. Okay, so basically it's this, and now we can try this code with running uh, uh, by running the function. So it will be key, and here we can pass uh, our path. So it will be in the shell. I just copy paste the path, the first path. I have just to add backslashes. And tell the name of my, our, our, my file I want to add, it will be Chrome. Okay, and now I save the file and run it. Okay, and now if I'm going here and do if I have to refresh, we can see I have my create my key. Okay, so basically here I have created the base for the next function, so it's to create a value. So to start with, we have to pass as an argument with the current uh, current path to the to the uh, key where we want to create the value. Next, we have to precise what uh, the content of the value. For me, it will be the path for the brave exe. And finally, we have to name it. If we don't pass any arguments, we will have uh, the default uh, value which will be changed. So, to start with, we have to know that we are going to use the rec open key xa function to open a, how, how, uh, to, to open a key uh, inside a h key uh, value. And we are going also to use the rec create uh ah no it it's red set uh, x uh a value x a so it's to set a value inside of a h key with the reference of the h key so basically what we are going to do now is uh first to initialize the the uh the reference to stop the register response so reg and the h key ref h key h key next we are going to um, set the the sk uh, it will be the path so it will be lpctsr sk equals casting to lpctsr uh, the path of c string path csr Okay, uh, now next we are going to have a long open response uh, which are, is going to use the reg open key eggs. We open the parentheses and we close it too. Okay, and now if we go to the, the, the documentation, we can see that first we have to uh, give the reference to the uh, HK. Next, give the give the the path in the registers. Uh, next, uh, we have to set a parameter to zero. Uh, here, what I have to set, I have to set the, the the, secu the security description and finally I have to set the HK response okay so what we are going to do here uh, I will set first the HK root 
Uh, no, it's classes root. I I have misclicked. Uh, root sk zero uh, key uh, all uh, low. I uh, know uh, it's access. Uh, sheesh. Access. And here we are going to set the H key reference. Okay, next we have to cast the L uh, PCT STR uh, of the of our uh, data. So for us it will be the exe path. Uh, so it be, will be L PCT STR uh, casting the exe path from C string. Uh, next, we have to know if it open cor it, it it if it, it has opened correctly. So open rest because if we give an unknown result, we don't uh, we don't have to open it. Error success. We are going to open it, and it will be reg. Uh, eagles reg uh, reg set value x a open parenthesis close it to and now if we go to the documentation set key uh, set value we can see that we have the 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 h key first uh, okay, next it will, it will be the name, the value name. Okay, so we have to process the, the, the roots. Next, the value name. Uh, we will set it to the value name. If it's null, we can see it will be the default uh, value which will, which will be uh, changed. Next, we have a parameter to zero. Uh, next, we have to process the data type. Uh, next we have to set the, to, to give the data and the data size. Okay, so basically, uh, we are we are going to start with the H key. Uh, val name in C string. So dot C S G R closed and zero reg sz lp b i t -E. okay data and finally the str len of uh, exe the uh, path str uh, c str uh, plus one Okay, so basically this code should add this to the default value at command. So let's uh, test it. So uh, we have to save the file. And now we are just going to start the code. Any error, excellent. Now we have just to go to the registers, F5, and we have, uh, we can see that we have the, 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 bro uh, the Brave browser which opened at Chrome. Now we can test it also. So if I go in my files, record, I can see that here I have Chrome and if I click them, it, it open Brave. So it was uh, it for today. Uh, remember that we have, uh, that uh, I, I am doing an Instagram and today I'm going to show you something about the SCSS. So uh, just go check it and maybe it will be something interesting for you. And see ya.